Welcome back to another quick video help file. Uh, on this video we're going to fill in uh, an Adobe Reader PDF file. So uh, if you receive a file from uh, from any service provider or any uh, utility company that require you to fill or an insurance company, anything like that, uh, they quite often ask you to, to fill in the contract, sign it and send it back. Uh, now I've made a kind of mock type form here. Uh, this is a, an Adobe Reader PDF file and uh, we're going to fill it in without printing it off and filling it filling it in manually with a pen uh, and scanning it again back into your uh, your system uh, all we do within adobe reader we have tools up at the top here uh, we simply hit tools and there's an icon here that says fill and sign let's opt for that uh, it takes us over onto a sort of edit mode if you like uh, the toolbar up the top that's appeared is pretty self-explanatory really so uh, we just uh, select the text and you put your name in here, uh, your address will go in here uh, and you get the idea with that uh, and you just carry on. So you just click and start typing, okay, like so. So um, you can go back and edit these at any point. You just kind of watch how the, uh, when you're hovering the mouse over things, we can go in and uh, there's a little bin icon. I'll just zoom in on that if I can for you in a moment. Um, so there we are, a uh, little bin icon, you can get rid of it. Um, we've got some options, some tick boxes. Now we've got all sorts of options, well, there's one, two, three or four uh, different options here. If we want to just uh, tick some boxes, we can just uh, go for the tick icon. And again, self-explanatory, we just go click, click, click. Uh, there's this bullet dot type thing. If you prefer, you can say that you just click, uh, click. Simple as that, uh, or if it says put a cross in the box, then there we are. Uh, so you get the idea with that. Uh, for dating something, we just go back to the text and uh, manually type in today's date. So maybe the 24th of the 8th, 18, whatever the date is, and click away, and that's the date in. Uh, signature, now here we are. Uh, you have to sign something. So uh, there is an icon up the top here that says sign. So we select that um, and it's asking us, uh, us here, what, what do we want to do? We want to add a signature. So we click on that uh, and this dialogue or, or box pops up. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is draw. So we go for draw and uh, carefully with the mouse, you click on the mouse and just go for it. Go for your signature. So do, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. There we are. And put a little happy face in there as well. Uh, okay, so that's our signature. And as we hit apply, the signature will be floating on the screen here. So that's where we want to place it. So we just click, boom, and that's it signed. Uh, so the document is now signed and ready to be returned. We can check it over. Uh, that's all filled in accordingly. Uh, so what we have to do here is obviously save the changes, but instead of saving, we're going to save as, um, and, it, uh, and we're going to call it a different name. So um, so we're going to call it something else. It's uh, Originally it was called form to fill, um, and we can call it something like return or send back. Uh, that means when you're going to your email to attach the file, uh, you know exactly which one you fill it, you're sending back the filled in form, uh, if you like. So we just save that, uh, go to your email, attach it, send it off, and uh, job done. That's your form uh, all filled in and signed, uh, and, uh, and that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. For more quick video tutorials and bits and pieces, uh, you can find the Computron YouTube channel by searching YouTube um, and just uh, search for the words Computron uh, and of course hit the red subscribe button on there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.